All right, welcome fifth grade. Uh, so now we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, the independence of South America. Okay. Um, so your note style for this, what I would like you to do is kind of on your paper, you need to come up and have a heading for leaders. You also need to have a heading for the country and finally the accomplishments. Okay, so we're going to be talking about a few different um, leaders and the accomplishments that they were able to achieve um, with creating freedom for these countries. I'm going to give you more, more or less the, the end result um, and we'll fill in the rest of it when we get in the class. So if we look here, all right, so if you're going to do this on your paper, um, it should be like the following, okay? So kind of like this, write that in. After the first one, do the first one first. Don't just make a bunch of lines uh, and then because some of them might have more than what could fit in this line here um, so that you don't get them too cramped up, all right? Um, but really what I want you to focus on for this lesson um, is the fact of why were these people so concerned? No, nah, no, scratch that. What I want you to focus on is why, you know, why do um, people feel the need to be independent from Spain? Okay, that's really the main question uh, of this lesson. Why is it that all of these? Uh, countries, all of these colonies in Latin America feel that they feel the necessity that they have to separate from Spain at this time. All right, so I want you to think about that um, as we progress through the lesson, uh, not only here with the vodcast but also um, through class. Okay, so here we go. All right, um, so our first person is Toussaint Levator. All right, uh, he was uh, he was in Haiti. He was a slave. Uh, by birth and really rose up uh, in the fight for freedom, all right? And he is the one who eventually founded the independent um, nation of Haiti. One thing I want you to uh, remember for this lesson is that this happened in 1791, okay? So not too long after uh, Pizarro and all of them, uh, you know, wipe out the final major... Um, Incan, the final major empire at the time of the Incas, okay? All right, uh, the next one is Miguel Hidalgo, all right? Uh, he was in Mexico, and he urged the Mexicans, all right, or the native people of Mexico uh, to take back their land from Spain. Um, Augustine de Iturbide, um, same thing, but he helped fight, lead the fight for independence, and he declared Mexico an independent nation. Um, you have Simone Bolivar. Uh, he created this large nation of Grand Colombia, uh, which was a little was which was um, modeled a little bit after the United States in terms of their government. Uh, but then he also got uh, Peru as well. Uh, then you have Jose de San Martin, all right, and he helped liberate Argentina, Chile, and the rest of Peru. And finally, we have Dom Pedro, uh, who in Brazil. Uh, he declares Brazil independent without actually fighting uh, a war against uh, the Portuguese. So again, think about what I want you to think about is why are all these men leading these revolutions against Spain? What is it that is driving them uh, to do this? Okay. All right. So here's a map uh, that I just want to quickly go over with you guys. So here up here, uh, which is outlined in pink, I'll quickly do it in red. Uh, you know, Grand Colombia, all right? So this large nation, which originally in 1819, soon after Haiti, which is up here, if you remember that date, which is 1791, okay, gets its freedom 
Um, you know, here's the tipping point right here. This, why is it that this little, so why is it that this little tiny island nation is the one that kind of kickstarts everything uh, in Latin America, all right? So we have Grand Colombia in 1819, but you notice that 11 years later, Colombia, Ecuador, and Venezuela all get their own independence um, and make their own states. Uh, so, you know, it didn't last very long. Uh, you know, but you have Paraguay here in 1811, you know, Brazil in 1822. You know, look at all these dates. They're really close to each other uh, in terms of when they get their independence. So, you know, what is it that tips the scale uh, in Latin America or in, in South America that allows all these nations to get their independence? And the final question really is right here. All right, look at these three nations. You have British Guiana, Dutch Guiana, and French Guiana. All right, all remain loyal to their mother countries. Why might that be? All right, so I want you to think about that and notice that it's the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, and France. None of these are Spain or Portugal that remain loyal uh, to their mother country. So there's some food for thought for you before you come to class. Uh, hopefully you took great notes and that we can elaborate on these and have some great discussions. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in class.